Well, hi there everyone, Baryonyx5 here, and welcome back to Planet 19, where you find me standing atop the building in the village, if you like, which, as you can see, doesn't quite have a roof yet, doesn't quite have all its doors yet, but it is a lot further on than when you last joined me. Let's go back to home. Home is over there, where you might be able to see something is sticking up out of the roof. Let's try and fly over there. How much do I have left in my jetpack? Just a little. There we go. I am starting to do the ceiling in the middle, and I think I'm going to go for an arched ceiling. Just a nice gentle arch. I like the way it looks from outside. And I quite like the way it looks from in here. It just adds a bit of style to the place. Now, these walls were never made central on the towers, so it is a bit off-centre, but I think it will still look all right. But this brings me to a problem. I have been using an awful lot of stone bricks, an awful lot of stone bricks, and I have been running out of stone bricks every approximately three minutes. So I need some way to get lots and lots of stone bricks and all the other things which are really useful because this poor little furnace here is completely overwhelmed because I'm constantly, constantly asking it to do things. Bless it. So let's come on through here. Not a lot more has happened except I have put the flooring in in here. And I've been deciding what to do. I have decided, oh yes, that this area in here will be sort of an automatic area where I don't come very often, where the ore processing takes place and all things like that. And then it'll be pumped through into this area, which will be my main building area out the back, if you like, and the where the um, barrels will be so I can see my inventory. That's what I'm trying to say. The inventory of everything will be on the back wall, all that sort of stuff. And also, this floor will only go up to there, so this part will be higher. I think that will be nice. So what is the plan for today? Well, I want to sort out this problem with my stone and all the other things which are being built really slowly over there. And for that, I've decided I want to make an automatic machine which is going to make me stone blocks, basically, and glass and anything else which I can think of. To which end, I have been feverishly building lots and lots of machine frames, reception coils, and all of the rest of those sorts of things. I've also got another steam dynamo. So let's get started. I've just got to put the last few bits of these things together, because what I want is an aqueous accumulator, which we have made plenty of before. They are nice and easy. one aqueous accumulator. I'm going to need redstone furnaces and igneous extruders. I'm going to want a couple, yes, I want a couple of igneous extruders. Now, they are on a funny page, aren't they? No, they are not. I am just not able to see them in front of my nose. Again, tin. Oh, it's another pneumatic servo. Of course it's another pneumatic servo because they do not take energy. Uh, in which case I have completely got the wrong stuff for those things. I thought I was so sorted. I never am completely, am I? Mm, I can see something else which I'm probably going to fall short of in a minute. Something which I'm really quite short of, I had not realised. So hang on, doesn't the pulverizer also require a piston, so I'm going to want three of these. Uh, ding, ding. Ding. And, of course, let's get some out of this chest because it needs emptying fairly soon. Bit of birch will do nicely, thank you. Ding. Right. We also needed a few more. Three, two more. Uh, 
of these. These are the pneumatic servos so that I can quickly make up a pair of igneous extruders glass. So there we go, two igneous extruders. I also want it a pulverizer, which is the one with flint. Flint should be over here. In oh my word, that's full. That is completely and utterly full. And there is no flint in there. Where is the flint? Is it already over here? Darn. Why no flint? That is very, very strange. Well, let's just quickly, excuse me one sec, while I go and grab myself some flint. Okay, so I have returned with much flint, for which I can make a pulverizer. Final thing which I do want is, of course, the redstone furnace, which is just bricks and all those sorts of things. I have a load of bricks on me. So I'm going to need four, four bricks to make up a pair of redstone furnaces. That, that, and I've forgotten what goes on the top. It's a bit of redstone, isn't it, for a redstone furnace? So, so I did not put enough, is it, copper in there? No idea why I did that. So, two igneous extruders, one pulverizer, and two redstone furnaces. That's pretty much everything which I need. The only other thing which I'm going to need is a little bit of red or lead stone energy conduit. Just so that I can connect all these things together. You'll notice I also picked up a load of redstone from the old quarries whilst I was down there. I have completely forgotten which way round that was. It was that way. So, yeah, two pieces of this. Ooh, will that be enough? That's 12. That might not be enough. You can't really have too much of this stuff just at this stage of the game, however, so I feel no shame in making up another couple. 24 should be plenty. Okay, one more thing which I will just make is a bucket so that I can do buckety things. There we go. So, thing number one which I want to do is I don't really need to go out there because I can come down here and get me some water out of my infinite water supply which is just there. So once again I'm going to set up a steam dynamo. This particular steam dynamo I'm going to just set up in the corner over here for no better reason than um, it's out of the way just for the minute. This won't be my final uh, resting place for my engines by any means. Obviously I've got all that fuel being made up there. But that will just, this one will just power these temporarily and keep me topped up with stuffs. So two of those I shall pop the igneous extruder in. The igneous extruder. What am I saying? The aqueous accumulator can just sit in a hole there with the dynamo on top. Now this thing is going to drop down through the floor, which is probably going to mean that I'm going to make a huge mess of the flooring which I spent so long putting in. Isn't that ironic? The correct answer to that is, of course, yes, it is. And then these things will go in at the back. Yes, it'll come up at the back, I think. So, um, it can actually just come up there, I think. That will do nicely. So just run it underneath the front here. I'm sure I shall find a use for this in the future. So you can just connect up like that. Awesome. 
Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to want these things coming out the back. Now if I have my things there, I shall want a red stone furnace. Um, do I want them on the ground? I don't want them on the ground, that would look messy. I want them one up off the ground, come back please book it. So I'm going to have a redstone furnace there, and one on top of it, ooh, right there. I think the top one shall do glass, so it can have a pulverizer sat next to it. I assume that is the right way around, yes. And then each of them needs an igneous extruder, however these bits also need power. So let's get some power into these. Much power. Now all of these I want to simply take input from the left and output to the right. Just like that. Same with this one, I don't want it trying to select any inputs or outputs, top or bottom. Right, one igneous extruder on the side of each, just like that. So what's going to happen is this one will make cobblestone, which will get converted into sand, which will get baked into glass. This one will just make... Uh, cobblestone which will get cooked up into smooth stone. I could, if I wanted, to actually convert it straight in to smooth stone. Shall I be really posh and do that? Let's be proper posh and do exactly that. In which case that will need to go there. This will be a redstone furnace here and the igneous extruders will actually... Oops, line up just like that. So I'll need one more machine to achieve my great dream, and that machine is the auto workbench from Build Craft Factory. It's very easy to make. It is wooden gears and a crafting table. So let us quickly put together one of those. Wooden gears are just made from sticks, and I just want four of them. And crafting tables are seriously the easiest thing in the world to make. And that is our auto workbench. Now somewhere I should have a few better barrels from Jabber. That is what these things are going to pipe themselves into. Pop and pop, just like that. Right, I think we are very, very nearly there. I'm going to grab some charcoal to put into this. This, which is not sat there at all. There we go. Charcoal in there and it's going to start producing power. Hopefully. Is it not producing it because it's going straight all the way into here? Yes, it is. Perfect. So those are now charging up. Right, the one last thing which I need is two pieces of water and two sets of uh, lava, which I can then use, let's go down here, to fill up those igneous extruders. So I'm just very quickly going to fill up the extruders. Okay then, so I am back. I have already filled both of these igneous extruders up with water. They're both set to cobblestone, so they will never um, run out of lava or anything. You can set these to automatically make stone or obsidian. The only problem with that is if you set it to automatically make stone, it will use some of the lava up. So it's much more effective to make it make cobblestone and then cook it if you don't have infinite lava. Now that machine is actually the wrong way round, isn't it? No, it's not, because that's a pulverizer, that's a redstone furnace. And I am just being stupid. Just for a change. So, let's get some lava into that. And a little bit of lava into that. There we go, so this is now making cobblestone. These need setting to not export up or down as well. because that is what it is trying to do, it's trying to go completely the wrong way. 
So now these are going into here. This is getting pulverized up and should be being made into sand, which is going straight into here where it gets cooked up straight into glass, which goes straight into here. This one is making up smooth stone. I have not put the auto workbench in just yet. The auto workbench is awesome. It needs absolutely no power. But you do need to tell it what it needs to do, and what this needs to do is simply that. So what it will do now is, as things come in out the um, redstone furnace, they will automatically fill this up evenly, and this will automatically, and quite slowly to be fair, convert them into stone bricks, which will then get put out that side. I hope. These don't auto-eject, do they? Okay, that is unfortunate, so maybe I shall have to make a quick change to that one, but you can see this one's already filling up with 13 glass, and pretty well, it'll just carry on till it's made 4,000 glass, basically. So I'm going to quickly need a different machine, aren't I? Now that different machine is probably going to be... the cyclic assembler. So let's very quickly just pop one of those together. So the cyclic assembler is slightly more annoying than the build craft table in that it requires power, but it will automatically eject, so, you know, not great, not bad. Good in some ways, bad in others. It needs tin gears. Tin gears are very easy to make, especially if you have tin, which I'm slightly short, ooh, which I'm short of up there, but I do have some in here, don't I? I do. Tin gears are made just like the copper gears. It is a round of tin around a piece of iron two tin gears, and the cyclic assembler is a chest, which I do have, with that, that, those, and two of those. Gets us a cyclic assembler, it is another thermal expansion machine. The one thing which this is going to need is a blueprint. There is, or a schematic, I always call those wrong, it needs lapis and two pieces of paper. Now those are all things that I have, and they are also all things which I have no idea where they are. I'm a bit concerned that this one has filled up actually. Glass shouldn't really be in there. Well there is a bit of lapis. Paper. I've got one piece of sugar cane. Paper must be downstairs. Okay, so I have found my paper and my lapis. Two pieces of paper, one piece of lapis makes us a blank schematic. Let us head on back through here to this, because this is not going to work properly. Unfortunately, so let's take you out and get everything out of you. Did the workbench pop around the back? It did. So what we want instead is this cyclic assembler in. That can just go in there, it is once again charging up. All that I have to do is set it in to the left out from the right. You can see it's filling up with stone already. I'll put the rest of the stone in. Here is the space for the schematic, which is blank, but I can tell it what I want to make here. What I want it to do is take stone, do that with it, and make stone bricks. So I just press the tick. It is now a schematic for stone bricks, and you can see how quickly it did it, and chucked them all out to the right. And I'm now making endless glass and stone bricks, as much as I could ever possibly need. So that's good. That is extremely good. All that I need to do is make sure that this thing is constantly fueled with charcoal, and I shall be set. So that is it for this episode, guys. We have made an automatic factory to make us stuff, which is really awesome. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I'm just going to block this all in around the edges. Do like and subscribe if you did. And most importantly of all, of course, I do hope to see you once again. That's the wrong place. Next time. Thank you.
and goodbye.